nothing else. People stood during the services. 3,000 people could be here at the time. And when a young was preached here, um, the services were three times at least, sometimes even more times. Uh, you remember the 16th century. The chapel looked uh, like this only after the 16th century. Uh, the simplicity of the chapel uh, was uh, desired when it was built. But in the 16th century, uh, they wanted to make it better, and they constructed a wall here. They removed the flat wooden ceiling, and they constructed a wall here, a stone wall. They built uh, 15 huge pillars to carry the wall, but the wall was heavy for the structure. And uh, in the 18th century, it was necessary to remove it. They removed the wall, pillars, and the southern wall of the chapel. So there was no chapel in the 18th century. Uh, they were to warehouses here, to use the space here. And in the 19th century, they built a house here, a normal apartment house. But these three walls stood. They remained parts of the house. You can imagine to imagine two other stories, a staircase, other walls, and other things which are in a normal apartment. And the house was here up to the middle of the 20th century when the chapel was constructed. Uh, we, we say the pulpit, the, the wooden place where the man yes, preaching, over that was, that, was that the original from Jan Haas, or is that... Uh, the wood, the wood was new, of course. Yeah, the wood was right. uh, The entrance to the yeah, pulpit is, uh, <laughs> is uh, old or partly old. Uh, the chapel was uh, damaged a lot. Uh, imagine that was a house. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, uh, only few things uh, um, have remained uh, from the old uh, chapel. Um, especially the decoration was damaged in the past. Uh, you can see a small remnant of the inscription 